Well, we're taking a live look at a cloudy Greenville right now. We haven't seen much in the way of rain. We've got a little bit of a wave pattern there to the clouds uh, this afternoon as it's a little bit of a turbulent sky. We've got a system that's heading our way that's going to bring quite a bit of rain, but no winter weather. That's going to be reserved for areas in Texas, extending up through Arkansas, Missouri, and eventually for spots like Indiana, Ohio, the areas highlighted in blue. And this includes parts of upstate New York. I mean, this is a wide region system and goes all the way down close to Austin, Texas, uh, where they're expecting some icy conditions. So you can see for us, we'll be south of that threat. We've got some showers building in from the west, but nothing all that heavy. It's going to take a while uh, for it to overcome some of the dry air in our area. So don't expect a big rain going into tonight, but a few scattered showers possible. And then by tomorrow morning, we can have some more areas of steady rain developing. Tonight, 45, so temperatures not cooling much uh, as we get into the later evening hours, 42 in western North Carolina, so well above freezing for a change. Tomorrow, it's actually going to be fairly mild. We'll have some warmer air working its way in, so upper 50s to low 60s with those showers coming down. So this is what it looks like at 10 o'clock tonight. Spotty light rain, a little better chance in the mountains. And notice the flow of moisture over the mountains into northeast Georgia. These are the areas that are favored to see several inches of rain out of this system. 8 a.m. Thursday morning, I want to make sure you've got lots of time to get the kiddos to school. We'll mainly see see light rain through the day, but we'll be looking ahead to Thursday night. Heavy downpours getting in here. You can see that right now at about 11 p.m. A few heavy spots in the mountains. We'll continue that into the upstate even through the morning. So as you're gearing up Friday morning for your morning commute, you'll certainly want to uh, check in on the morning news with the latest radar. And then all the rain will begin to shift out as we go into the rest of Friday. Rain totals, as I mentioned, the highest totals will be in the west. So we can see three plus inches for areas in northeast Georgia, far western mountains. And then the farther east you go, a little bit less rain. But that's why the main concern for flooding uh, will be northern Pickens County, Oconee County, working north towards Swain County, and that goes till 1 o'clock on Friday. Uh, into this weekend, looks mostly clear with highs in the 40s in the mountains, and we keep 40s next week too with weather remaining fairly calm. There's a chance we could get a wintry mix at some point early next week in the mountains. We'll keep you posted. In the upstate, looking mostly dry this weekend after quite a bit of rain is going to move through Thursday night into Friday, and then by Friday night, clearing and highs in the 50s Saturday 40s on your Sunday. Of course, you can download the Fox Carolina app. Keep up with the latest weather anytime. Now